In this video, we are having a look at holes to be found in a road surface. And here we're talking mainly about a tarred surface. Holes are quite obvious and self-explanatory. Therefore, we're going to do this video a little bit different to previous videos. We won't have the instructional real life clips. Instead, we're going to have a presentation and then the montage section to follow. The idea of this presentation is just to help us be a little bit more aware of how holes come to exist in a road surface and some other points for us to take note of in order to try and prevent any damage to our vehicle. So the first thing is the condition of the road. What is the quality of construction of the road? Does it consist of a number of layers or is it just simply a superficial layer of tar? Maintenance. Does regular maintenance get done on the roads in our area? If not, then we're going to find that cracks and breaks in the road surface will occur with the resultant holes as well. Are roadworks currently underway? If so, then we need to be extra cautious of road surfaces that aren't complete and uh, perhaps have sections to them that could be hazardous. What about drainage? Is the road well constructed so that after any rains, the rain is well drained from the road surface or does it lie in puddles on that road surface? And then sinkholes, and this is an important one. So if there are any water pipes in the area that perhaps are damaged and start gushing a lot of water out onto the road, have a look for telltale signs of any sand that lays in that river of water that's running down the road because that sand would need to be excavated as a result of the water from somewhere underneath the road surface and that in turn would lead to sinkholes. So it could gouge out a whole section of sand underneath the tar and then you driving along and suddenly that tar gives way. Weather conditions and when speaking about weather, yeah, we're dealing mainly with temperatures. So do we live in an area where the extreme fluctuations between the minimum and maximum temperatures daily? If so, then there's a lot of contraction and expansion that takes place on the road surface. And as a result of this, cracks would then start to form easily. What about an area where the water would now freeze overnight? Because what happens with water when it freezes is that it expands as it freezes. So if the water finds its way into gaps uh, within the road surface and then freezes, expands, that in turn would break up the road surface. High temperatures. Are the extremely high temperatures in the area that we live in to the extent that the tarred surface would start melting? Because what would happen then is that as vehicles travel over that melted tar, that tar would stick to the tires of the vehicle that would rip up the tar and expose the rest of the surface to cracking up as well and consequent holes. What about prolonged heavy rains? So when we've got rain that falls onto a road surface, if there's any dips in that road surface, what would happen is that normally grit and gravel would uh, settle down at the bottom of that dip. But where there's water, then every time a vehicle's wheels now ride through that puddle of water, it disturbs the water and that grit that exists at the bottom of that puddle would serve as an abrasive. So as the water is disturbed, uh, the grit and the gravel now get swirled around and that action, mechanical action of it swirling around, would then eat away at the road surface and form holes. What about traffic? Are there high volumes of traffic that get used on that road? Because the more traffic, obviously the more wear and tear and especially if it's heavy vehicles. So are there vehicles with heavy loads that travel along that road often, because that in turn could break up the road surface. So the idea is we want to become familiar with the roads in our area. So if we know what our roads are like, the areas that perhaps are a little bit hazardous and we try and avoid that, that would put us in a much uh, better position to ensure that our vehicle's not damaged. What we want to try and avoid are any manhole covers. So make a mental note of manhole covers in the roads in the area that you live in and try and avoid that. You'll see in the montage section to follow that there's a number of real life clips 
where manhole covers uh, lead to some or other precarious situation. Compromised surfaces, so if we in an area where uh, perhaps the roads aren't that well maintained and you see sections of the road that are broken up, uh, obviously we want to try and avoid those sections, but also be aware of other motorists on the road that would likewise try to avoid a damaged section of the road. Maybe an oncoming vehicle swerves out the way of a pothole and directly into your path. So be aware not only for yourself, but of any other surrounding vehicles that may be affected uh, by the road surface. And then poor suspension. So this is something that we've got control over if we've got the funds to maintain our vehicle properly because the poorer our suspension, well, then the worse our vehicle's able to handle any road surfaces that are broken up. So if we hit a pothole, we've got very poor suspension that could throw our vehicle totally out because it doesn't have that absorption capability in order to handle such a surface. So we want to try and make sure that our cars in a roadworthy condition. Please like, subscribe and get notified.